Hi, today topic is uh, 1.2 electrical installation. Okay, the cost outcome and program outcome is CO1 and PO1, which is apply knowledge and evaluate the problems that can be solved using basic concept, principles, the operation, safety of mechanical, electrical, and also utilities. Okay, the lesson outcome at the end of this topic 1.2, uh, you must be able to describe the terms of conductor, insulator, and then describe types of wires and cables, explain the difference between wire and cable, discuss the factor of choosing wire and cable, and also outline, describe, and illustrate PIL CSTA and PIL CSWA uh, for underground and overhead cable. And then lastly, list, describe and illustrate flexible PVC or PVC PVC HSOS and MICS. Okay, this is the conductor, insulator cable and also wire. You can see this uh, at the residential area, uh, at town, and also nearby uh, highway and road. Okay, conductor. What is actually conductor? Conductor is a material or substance that pass electrical current with ease, such as aluminium, copper, and silver. Okay, in uh, Malay, we also call as conductor, iaitu sesuatu yang boleh mengalihkan arus elektrik. Okay, a good conductor must be able to transmit current, minimal heat release during the transmission, resist fire for a considerable period, and fairly, fairly light in weight. Okay, this is the... Uh, characteristics of the good conductor okay then we have insulator we can see from the picture we have uh, plastic bottles uh, kayu and then we have glass and also film okay which is uh, considered as a material or substance that cannot passes electrical current with ease Okay, we call it as penebat. Okay, already mentioned on the examples. Okay, then we have cable and wire construction. Uh, for mechanical protection, if needed, of solid casing, steel wire or steel tip. So, uh, we put conductor plus insulator. Uh, to to the cable or wire to avoid uh, electric supply. For example, we use uh, tapes, solid casing, a PVC, and other. Okay, we have two types of wire here. First is flexible PVC or PVC PVC. The size is 0.5 mm square to 4 mm square. This type of wire is suitable for household domestic wiring. Have two small cores with several stands. Okay, so this is uh, basically we can see for the laptop and this is for charger. Okay, the current is around 5 to 24 ampere. Okay, and then we have the same uh, flexible PVC, but the size is uh, much more larger, which is 96mm square to 630. Okay, this is for household permanent domestic wiring or household appliance. Okay, it also have uh, one core with several strands. And it only carry the current around 31 ampere to 1.8 kilo ampere. Okay, so 1,800. Okay, this is the Swiss lah, basically the plug 
uh, three socket that we uh, always use for electrical appliance and uh, houses at houses okay and then the cable the cable is uh, actually made from vulcanized rubber on the outer sheet and the PVC which is polyvinyl chloride insulator on the inner sheet okay it has two bigger cores and more durable to the environment the cable is more heavy duty and can carry higher voltage as for the mechanical protection due to the tensile and the compression stress of the uh, cable as well as the vibration due to the external loading uh, steel wire or steel tape is used okay so we are using steel tape uh, for avoiding the uh, due to the tensile and the compression stress okay we need to avoid the over overloading or external loading from the outside so you can see here this type is basically used for underground cable and another one is for houses and business okay overhead service cable this is larger than this one this one is uh, smaller than the other one okay so we have another types of cable which is house service overhead system hsos okay it is made from vulcanized rubber on the outer sheet and then pvc insulator on the inner sheets okay it has bigger cost and more durable to the environment it used for single phase two wires between houses Okay, it can use from the pylon to the house punya kotak electric so. Okay, and then we have mineral insulated copper sheeted. The cable is used uh, for higher voltage uh, where it can withstand with until uh, 1500 current and it's very expensive because it made from copper. You can see, kilat-kilat ni. The shining color, warna gamsa is copper. Okay, cables are used in critical fire protection application, such as alarm circuits, fire pumps, and also smoke control system. Okay, sebab copper is, a, a, if we want to melt or burn the copper, it require higher uh, energy or higher temperature so it can uh, con uh, tahan uh, daripada fire so we are using for alarm that detect uh, also for detection of smoke ok so this is overhead cable and also underground cable so the cable is hung on the poles ok so dia akan bergantung dekat poles ataupun Previously, uh, we call it as unipole. And then you have underground cable where the cable is buried. Ditanam 60mm in the ground. Okay, so basically, boleh nampaklah dia guna PVC pipe. Or maybe getah if you want to uh, bury it in the ground. Okay, we have types of underground cables here. Uh, PIL CSTA is a paper insulated lead sheet steel tape armor. So they guna lead. The dua guna lead. So the display the different is one is tape, one is wire. Okay, so we can see here from here, the outer layer is made of extruded PVC or vulcanized outer sheet, and then we have the second layer is made of steel wire. Or steel tape so this is here is the difference and the third layer is extruded sheet sama juga ada sheet the first layer made of PVC bedding glow by the fifth layer and then the last layer which is fifth layer it consists of individual core of PVC insulation 
So it usually have three cores of copper or aluminium conductor. So kat sini akan ada pengaliran elektrik. So we are using conductor at this point. Okay, so we are using the conductor of electrics. Okay, we discuss a little bit more on the uh, paper insulated lead. So for the tip one, is a normal voltage is only 20 kV. But for wire is much higher, 35 kV. And then for the mechanical protection, uh, for tape is considered as two steel tapes, but for wire is round steel galvanized wire. Okay, application uh, for tape is used in urban and industrial network for direct burial into ground. Uh, for steel wire amor, in industrial and mine plant. Uh, where the greater mechanical strain may be experienced. Uh, it also applies uh, to underground uh, as well as for subwater laying in sea or river. Okay, so for wire ni, dia lebih banyak kegunaan because instead of uh, in the ground, it also can be used inside the submarine, in the sea or in the river. Okay, the advantage of using underground instead of hanging cable. First, it enables the facilities to be better in aesthetical appearance. So, maksudnya tak nampak lah bawah tanah. So, keadaan environment ataupun keadaan uh, kat luar lebih uh, baik. Tak nampak serabut dengan uh, so many cables. So, it improves reliability and efficiency of power transmissions and it able to use, utilize the common underground trenches with other utilities. Okay, and the important advantage is safety factor are higher. So, bahaya kan kalau cables banyak sangat berselerat, berserabut is danger to uh, many people. So, this is an advantage when we bury the cable inside the ground, inside the land. Okay, so this is a factor. How we choose a, a suitable wire and cable to be used. First, it depends on the capacity of voltage and the current. Where the voltage drop must be not exceed the 2.5% voltage. Okay, bila dia exit uh, drop 2.5, maksudnya resistance dia tinggi. So, we need to increase the size maybe. Depends on the capacity. So, smaller wire will produce higher temperature. So, cepat panas. So, bigger wire will be heavy, berat. Tapi, dia boleh handle higher voltage. Sebab tu, kita kena ikut kesesuaian. Okay, then is material use. Okay, copper is better conductor but it's heavy and expensive. Okay, aluminium is uh, not good as copper but it's okay because it is more lighter, ringan and less expensive. Okay, and then for insulation, uh, it withstand internal and external heat because we have two category of heat from the internal or from the outside. Okay, contohnya cahaya matahari ataupun from the inside is about the resistance. Okay, it must also be made of durable materials and cheap. Okay, durable material can be bentuk lah. Dia tak mudah patah when we bend. Okay, and then method of wiring. So, we have surface wiring with or without conduit or trunking. And conceal with or without conduit and trunking. Okay, and then the usage of the cable can be either underground, overhead, movable or permanent. Okay, and then about the category of moisture. Okay, the place where the cable is located. 
it is at damp place or dry area or it is uh, at the waterproof or not waterproof inside the sea or uh, in the ground okay different place different moisture and then about corrosion uh, the cable is an anti-corrosive to chemical and acid. Okay, and then impact of stress, uh, where it is resist to loading, accidents, or outside stress. Okay, the cost include initial cost to uh, bury or build, uh, either long term or short term cost. Maybe uh, it also regarding on the maintenance. After we install the wire and cable, we need to do maintenance for the quality of the current. And then it must be pest resistant. Supaya tak rosak due to biting or gnawing of vermin or rodents. Okay, tak cepat report ataupun dimakan oleh serangga. Okay, and then we have stranded versus solid solid wire. So you can see from this one. Okay, bila solid connect conductor actually the surface area uh, lower. So we have uh, when we have stranded conductor, uh, it's like hair. It cause or uh, it may increase the surface area. Okay, let's see when electricity flow through a wire. It mostly flow on the surface of the wire, not through the middle. This means that wire of a given size that made up of many smaller strands can carry more power than a solid wire. Okay, just uh, I already mentioned on the surface area. Okay, so this is difference wire and how it looks like under the Microsoft Oh no, under the kanta um, pembesar. Okay, so we can see the increasing of surface area. So this one is high, very high surface area. Uh, because they have the holes, smaller holes. Okay, then we move to type and installation method. The same cost and program outcome for this uh, subject. And then the lesson outcome uh, for this section. Uh, we need to able to uh, describe open and closed wiring method. List and illustrate the conduit and the fitting. And lastly, describe, differentiate and illustrate trunking entry. Okay, the purpose of ducting is extra protection against pests, accident, and etc. Proper installation, alignment, grouping, and aesthetic. Okay, fitting is, for example, we have elbow. Okay, elbow ni macam siku lah. Macam ni, bentuk dia punya wire. And then we have T's, T lah. T's, T. Cross, panka, inspection window or saddles. Okay, nowadays UPVC, conduit and trunking are preferable compared to metal due to lightweight, non-corrosive and cheap. So we use PVC pipe. Okay, ducting conduit. We have circular ducting and smaller in size. So, ini daripada copper or steel lah. This one is uh, the, con the conduit using uh, PVC. Okay, the materials is galvanized iron or unplasticized polyvinyl chloride UPVC. Okay, the functions of this ducting conduit is to protect the cable from... Uh, Outside damage and heat. It also provides continuous support of its metals. And it may be used as an conductor. Earth conductor. Okay, untuk menghilangkan lightning. Bumi. Okay, standard uh, measurement 
uh, of outside diameter is we have 20, 35, 32 as and 44 mm. The steel is produced in either light or heavy gauge. Okay, light gauge is connected by grip fitting. While wheels, the thicker wall heavy gauge can be screwed threaded to fitting and coupling. Okay, plastic conduit has push fit connection. Okay, ducting trunking. So this one basically dapat tengok kat bumbung. It's using the uh, side fabricated trunking bands. And then uh, it can be rectangular or square ducting bigger in size. And, and it made of UPVC or metals. The cable trunking are widely used for construction projects such as laying electrical wires and cables. It making the lay of electric wire or cable or pipeline achieve the universalized level. Okay, the cable trunk has provided a new way for the engineering design, the installation work and the production of uh, in automation. Okay, then we have three. Three is section and associated fitting forming a rigid structure system used to uh, securely fasten or support cables and raceways. Used to hold up and distribute cables. Cables of wire tray is installed by suspension wire under the ceiling or by screw to the wall. It is the metal tray with different size of holes. So the plastic or aluminum grid can hold the cables or wire to the tray. Okay, kita boleh letak banyak-banyak wire. Penuhkan dalam satu tray depends on the size of tray. So kita juga boleh ikat the wire to the tray. So uh, it cannot be moved or take, take out. Okay, and then we have cable ladder. Cable ladder is a safe and economical solution for uh, supporting the requirement of electric power, signal, control, instrumentation, and also communication cable. It can be fabricated in various style. We have wire mesh, ladder, ventilated through channel, and solid bottom and different sizes. It also provides the greatest versatility among cable support system while they offer saving up to 84% in labor costs. Okay? So the cable ladder is more reasonable from other types of uh, is, uh, other types of uh, wire ok so that's all for today thank you for your attention if you have any question you can just ask me or uh, DM ok see you next uh, video